Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to address this first global ministerial conference on tuberculosis. And I'm sorry that my schedule did not allow me to be present with you in Moscow. I want to congratulate the WHO and the Russian Federation for convening this conference. It addresses a pressing issue of global concern, and it helps us to prepare for the next year's high-level meeting of the General Assembly on the fight against tuberculosis. I'd like to take this opportunity to stress two key points today. The first is that more action is urgently needed to fight tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is the top cause of death among infectious diseases, yet it receives little visibility. Tuberculosis is a treatable and curable disease, yet around half of the cases are undiagnosed. In 2016, 1.7 million people died from the disease. Two years ago, we collectively agreed to end the epidemic of tuberculosis by 2030 as part of the Sustainable Development Goals. Through the WHO strategy End Tuberculosis, we are aiming for a 90% reduction in tuberculosis death and an 80% reduction in the tuberculosis incidence rate by 2030. But the pace of progress has been too slow. Countries need to move much faster to prevent, detect and treat tuberculosis if the targets are to be achieved in the next 15 years. We need to do more to raise awareness about this public health challenge and to mobilize resources. I echo your calls for rapid progress towards universal health coverage and sustainable financing. We need action on the determinants of tuberculosis and greater investment in research and innovation. Many people mistakenly think of tuberculosis as a disease of the past. Quite to the contrary, tuberculosis is a top killer today. And this brings me to my second point, which is that the high-level meeting of the General Assembly will present a critical opportunity. It will allow us to galvanize global action and innovative collaboration towards ending tuberculosis. Let us not travel to New York only to say we convened the meeting. Instead, let us work towards an outcome that yields meaningful results for people all across the world. I'm pleased to learn of the many stakeholders participating in your conference in Moscow. I hope we can build on this multi-stakeholder approach to generate partnerships and the financing that is urgently needed to achieve our goal. I look forward to working with member states, the WHO and partners in civil society and the private sector to ensure an open and transparent process leading up to the high-level meeting. Excellencies, we need to act now to make tuberculosis a disease of the past. We are accountable to the people around. We must tackle tuberculosis and reach the goals we set two years ago. Your active engagement in the lead-up to the high-level meeting next year will be critical. And again, I count success not as hosting you in New York or even gaveling through a declaration. Success is measured by the impact that our meeting and agreement will have on the lives of people infected by or at a risk of tuberculosis. Let us not let them down.